Hello folks, today we will see some GNOME shell extensions in action. GNOME shell extensions allow customizing the default GNOME shell interface and its parts, such as window management and application launching. So let's get started. Let's launch Google Chrome. I have GNOME shell extensions website shortcut added to my Google Chrome. Here you can see a lot of shell extensions. Let me open the removable drive menu. Installing the extension is as simple as turning on and off this switch and a cross button will remove the extension. If you know the GNOME shell version for your Ubuntu, then you can download the shell extensions from here for manual installation. For example, the GNOME shell version for Ubuntu 20.04 LTS is 3.36. You can go to the Ubuntu settings and then go to the About menu to find the same. Ubuntu 20.04 comes packaged with an app called Extensions, which contains a list of GNOME shell extensions installed on your system. I'll show you now the extensions which I use. The first one is the Applications menu. Let's enable it. You can see the Applications menu here. Next one is the RQ menu. Next one is Caffeine. This extension prevents locking down of your desktop when your desktop is inactive for a while. Next one is a clipboard indicator. It keeps the history of all the things that you have copied. Next one is Compiz Alike Windows Effects. This is kind of fun. Let's disable it to see how it works. So here I'm moving around the window you can see its edges don't move by default. Now let's enable the extension. Let's move around the window again. You can see its edges are moving in the direction you are dragging it. Next one is control blur effect on lock screen. By default lock screen in Ubuntu is blur. You can adjust the blur brightness here. So you'll be able to see the lock screen background clearly. Just scroll it to the right to remove the blurness. Next one is Cover Flow Alt Tab. This is Alt Tab functionality to switch between the windows, but it's more visually appealing and it's one of my favorite extensions. Next one is Dash to Panel. It's another fantastic extension and it deserves a separate video. So I'll be discussing the same in another video in detail. Next one is Draw on Your Screen. It helps you to draw on your desktop. You need to press Alt Super D to enable the same. Just right click and you will get the menu options. You can see there are a lot of menu options available. I'll just enable one for the dashed. Select a shape. And draw it over. I suggest to play around with this extension to get more value from it. Press escape to leave this extension. Next one is a drop down terminal. This extension is for quick access to your terminal window. Just press hyphen button under your escape button and terminal window will appear. Press the same button to remove the drop down. Next one is Frippery Move Clock. This will change the position of date and time menu on your top bar. Just keep looking at the top bar to see the change. Next one is Lock Keys. This will tell you when you press Caps Lock.
Next one is panel OSD. It will determine the position of notification. During the course of this video, you must have seen the notification appearing in the top right corner. These are the settings for the same. Next one is Empiris indicator button. You can control the playing of your audio or video file from here. Next one is net speed. It will tell you about the upload and download speed. Next one is open weather. It will tell you about weather details of your location. Next one is places status indicator. This will help us to quickly go through different directories without opening the files application. Next one is removable drive menu. To demo this, let me plug in my pen drive. Now, if you want to remove your pen drive once your work is finished, you can just click on this icon. You will see the message that your device now can safely be unplugged. Next one is top icon plus. This will display the icons in your system tray. Once I turn it off, you will see a couple of icons on the top bar at the center disappearing. Turn it on to display them back. Next one is transparent GNOME panel. This will change the transparency of your top bar and the taskbar. That's all for today guys and thanks for watching this video. If you found this video useful then please like, share and subscribe this channel. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications for my upcoming videos.